Here is a question about the last movement of Beethoven's Sonata, opus 2, number 3, uh, measures 28, 29, 30. Um, it's in the left hand, it's a famous passage. It has this. Um, so the question is, um, uh, I never feel comfortable with all this moving in and out. How would you group and shape here? So I don't know where the big in and out is. I think that maybe the person refers to that. I mean, there is underneath a little bit. You know, but all those ins and outs become very, very small, especially you're right there. So I don't know. There is, it's almost like a feeling toward the piano and a little bit toward the body, but getting higher. that you know when we learn maybe there is a tiny bit to feel a little bit more I imagine that's what the reference is but it becomes very small and of course the rotation is working underneath it uh, it's a little bit complex but I will try just to answer what is the shaping and what's the grouping so the shaping it's a little bit of an overshape It goes down and it goes back. And uh, so usually we group in, you know, we make one direction active and one a little bit more passive because the hand, you know, otherwise the arm, it, it gets very hectic. So in this, this passage, it seems that the, it's better to finish on the C of the fifth, throw back, and then this is your other direction, you know, to finish here and stop. So of course we don't hear it and we don't stop, but this is just to show you what it is. And in practicing you can do that stop, but you see that I have a very strong finishing of the group doesn't mean that I stop and I stay there. It means that I'm being thrown back, it's a little bit disconnected, and start again, but it all happens tempo. So the shaping is a little bit of an overshape, becoming a little bit of an undershape, a little bit. Going up, it's a little over. You can think of those three as an under, under, over, five to here, to here, under, under going down, a little bit of an over coming up. And all of it has to be done just uh, with the right amount. Now, there's one thing that you can do to help it uh, when you do this uh, and you go down here in order not to come back again, you can take the right hand, you can take the D, an interval. So you don't even, you can do it in one hand, but you can do it coming here, you can just go to the one, two, and the right hand. the grouping here and this is the shaping here. Here's a question from a Beethoven Piano Concerto number one, the second cadenza, and it's a measure that these are the fingering that the person who's asking the question and who's having a problem with it uh, asked me to look at because he's very very uncomfortable and the discomfort comes from the large stretches. Now, of course, when we have stretches, we, you know, we, we have movements to, to get us through without uh, stretching. But fingering plays also uh, a big role with that. Uh, you don't want in the middle of something that is moving to have a large movement uh, in order to uh, get over to something that feels stretchy. And there is a better fingering than that. So what I did instead of 2-1, so you would need a very big large rotation here. 
I went to the one one five four one one five four one one five four one exactly the same the same uh, finger now when you have all the rotations the, the finger the uh, hand and the four move together it's very easy to do a one one when necessary also it's part of a shape and a little bit of pedal here comes down it's a little under shape and from here it becomes an over shape all the way to here so you hear how it it, uh, it, it phrases the the four notes also same here under shape then over shape to here plus moving a little bit in on the thumb to get over to the b flat another under to an over you see it's very small that gets me all the way to here so makes it very easy to do it so that would be my suggestion uh, and it's very similar I just thought for you to compare uh, Brahms opus 116 number two very similar the fingering that are given uh, uh, exactly like that you know it's very very stretchy so I would do the same one five four one one five four one two Also brings out, which is nice, the line of the those two notes. This is an example also where everything looks the same, but shaping changes. There is a little under from one to five without breaking the wrist, and and from here to here it's an under shape. Then from five four one one is an over shape, under over. But this one is an over shape with a change of direction to here and back to under and over. 